being a member of GCI. Oh, that's the best journey of my life. Honestly, sometimes when I meet a new member who is very young, I say, I'm so jealous of you because you still have all the time <laughs> and to do all the wonderful experience I did so far in GCI. So mm -hmm. you're so lucky. And um, actually, I joined GCI when I was uh, 24. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was the interview that changed my life. Because mm -hmm. as you mentioned, I'm a TV journalist. At that time, I was a freelancer for a newspaper. And uh, actually, my brother was the local president of a local organization of JCI. And that year, the national president of JCI Italy came exactly from our local organization. Mm -hmm. So he proposed me to interview him, and I thought it was interesting uh, for all the public to know more about this organization, so I do it. It was a very charming president, you know, at the end of the interview, he asked me, how old are you? And I told him, stop don't think a second about it because my work actually is to interview people mm -hmm. so if you think I will become a member of an organization just because I'm interviewing the leader can you imagine how many memberships should I have just forget <laughs> about it honestly <laughs> and he told me okay 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 like you want but uh, you know we are developing a little international project at that time in 2001 if you remember Italy hosted the G8 Mm, the so summit uh, of the the eight uh, most important economy of mm. the world. So it was 2000, you know. So I say, I'm organizing the G8 of the JCI. Mm. Uh, would you like to support me? And I thought it was an interesting opportunity for a young journalist, an international opportunity. So I told him, okay, I, I will support you. But just forget about this thing of the membership. And I always say that uh, at the end, uh, I fall in love. Not with a charming <laughs> president. <laughs> But with JCI, <laughs> with JCI, exactly, uh, because this organization is really unique, because you can be active at local level, national mm. level, and international level. It's the leading global network of young active citizens. Everybody, also you today, for example, can decide to join JCI. JCI. And so maybe what exactly got you to join? Yes. You were very sure you wouldn't be a member. Yeah. So was it just the G8 summit of the JCI that uh, got you interested? What at what point did you say, wow? No, yeah. this is interesting, and I want to be a part of this success story. Honestly, I'm still saying, wow, this is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> because every uh, day this organization is able to surprise me. Because, as we mentioned before, members are my source of inspiration. Wherever I go, all members that I'm meeting in my local organization, in my national organization, in the world, they are able to have a wow effect They're going to on distance. me. They're because going to really, uh, these people are people who decided to be solution providers. Mm. Uh, people who are volunteering their mm. time, their energies. And uh, to have the opportunity also to develop friendships mm. with people who are completely from the other side of the world. For example, you know, the individual social responsibility we mentioned before, it comes from the Japanese spirit of omoyari, mm. which means to be able to put in other shoes. Mm. So from the other side of the world compared to Italy, we are creating a bridge between the Eastern and the Western culture. And that's something unique. It's phenomenal. Unique. Mm. Uh, so this organization is able to surprise me every day. And at the beginning, I just wanted to know more. I was just curious. You know, what's next? What's next? What's next? And by asking and asking, um, in, I visited Malta, you know, recently, Malta in, in the south of Europe, and they say something like that. Asking is the sister of knowing. Mm. So I wanted to know more and more. And uh, question after question. Well <laughs> and, and that's how the journey started. Uh, yes. 